real mad. And he said that if I wanted to eat food again, that I needed to go write a 10-page essay on the importance of not being lazy. Welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to the morning. We're here in Miami. I'm supposed to be in the middle of a hurricane right now. And there's, there's no hurricane. Look, I mean, there was a little hurricane last night, but that was just Diego hitting me with flashes left and right, and Cody being like, ah! This hurricane is, is here. Everything's really, really wet. But other than that, everything's okay. Just lots of lightning. Um, oh wait, that's not lightning. Now make it more hurricane. Make it more hurricane. Make it more, make it be, be louder. More hurricane. What is that noise? That's not, he's like, well, that's what I think hurricanes are, but he's from California. They don't have hurricanes in California. Today, I wanna to walk you through my keys to self-discipline. Starting with, I know it sounds weird, but they call it eating the frog. <laughs> eating a frog would be gross, right? Because it's so terrible, it's the last thing you wanna do. You eat the frog in the morning, meaning you get the worst part of your day, the hardest part of your day, okay? The toughest part done first. So waking up early and being exhausted, that's hard. Get that out of the way. Don't be groggy and wake up later and then be stressed out. Going to the gym, working out, lifting weights, doing cardio, whatever you need to do to get your body moving. It's hard to do, so you get it out of the way first. Like what time is it now? It's not even eight o'clock in the morning. We're running up to our first appointment. I'm gonna bang out three different appointments, tons of emails, tons of calls, before I even get to the whole reason I came down to Miami, which is an event that starts at 1140. We have this big panel event for The Real Deal, which is like the industry magazine for real estate, so it's important in the United States. And we're doing a bunch of appointments in between and then getting on the airplane and racing right back, back to the city. So, Eat the frog, you get it out of your way first. Now, for me today, that was the gym. For you, maybe that's a confrontation. What is the hardest thing that you're gonna have to do today that if you weren't watching this video right now, you would wait till the end of the day, which means you're gonna wait till tomorrow, which means you're gonna do it over the weekend. Oh, no, you're gonna do it now. Oh, no, you're never gonna do it because hopefully it just goes away because, oh my God, I don't like dealing with stuff. Get it out of the way right now. It's never as bad as you think it is. And when you do it early, the other side, especially if it's confrontation, especially if it's a terrible email or phone call or business thing that you gotta do, the other side, they don't wanna do it either. So you catch people off guard, hit them with the art of surprise. That's how it works. And now we're heading up to our appointment at 355 Ocean, but we're only a few minutes late because Cody and Diego couldn't get their shit together. Out of one meeting into another, we're about to board a ferry here to go see a penthouse in Fisher Island. We're gonna get the fleet of beautiful cars. Oh, okay, Tesla just came off. That's an Aston Martin. What's coming? This is the this is what Fisher Island. The next cars. That's a Mercedes. What's this car? What even is that? That's a Lucid. A Lucid. Wait, there's a Range Rover. It's like you have to have a certain net worth even to get on. And here's a Rolls Royce SUV coming off. What a ridiculous island we're about to go to. Anyway, back to self-discipline. Um, food eating fuel for the asset as you guys all know i intermittent fast been doing it for four years uh, i eat from 12 p.m to 6 p.m six days a week today because i have to do this big panel at 12 o'clock i don't like um i don't like being on an empty stomach being in front of a lot of people so i'll do a reverse fast so today I worked out really really early doing a reverse fast i got overnight oats a little granola uh, some almond butter, some peanut butter, and a protein shake, and I'll eat for six hours today, and we started at nine o'clock, and then I'll cut it off till tomorrow at noon and just do like a 22 hour um, fast, maybe a little bit longer. It makes food a, uh, a necessity and not a desire. Replace your cravings for food that does nothing for this asset other than hurt you down the line. And, oh, can we go on the ferry or no? Yeah, I gotta hold you I don't know. This is just, this is Instagram. It doesn't matter. Busted. Way to go, Diego. Thanks, buddy. Put the camera down. <laughs> All right, so we just got busted for filming while trying to get onto Fisher Island, the, the land of the rich. And so uh, Diego, Cody, they were excommunicated 
evicted. They were ejected. All the E words exited. The fourth, they were, no, no, the other E words are bad. It's, they're gone, okay? So now we're going to this, now we're going, we're joining on the ferry. We're gonna go see this penthouse. I don't even know if I get my camera up right now. I think I have to be like really quiet. Everything is, everything is crazy. Okay, I'll be right back. Listen, there's a lot of people there who are like, wait, I don't understand. You were in, like in the last five days, you were in San Francisco. You then led a mastermind in New York City in a $250 million apartment. You then gave a speech in Orlando. You then work, run all over the place. And now you're here literally in Miami for all of us. Like, how do you live? How do you survive? And I've said this before, professionals make decisions based on their commitments. Amateurs make decisions based on their feelings. So am I tired? Fucking yes, absolutely. Did I just cut my thumb open? Like I'm holding it together right now, but a compass agent just gave me their umbrella because it started raining and she was so nice about it, but then she ran off and it was like made of knives. And it like went into my finger and I think compass is trying to take me out. One thumb at a time. Mom. That's a conspiracy theory that I think that we should put out there. And I think it's probably true. And now we're getting on the airplane. We're going right back. It'd be incredibly efficient with your time. When you're on the ground, you're scheduled, you're in 15 minute increments. Other than that, you're building and expanding. What do I say all the time? To grow this business, right? And I'm a creator. I created the brand. I create all day long. I create deals to grow the brand and then to expand. Right? Myself, our business, the agents businesses, the entrepreneurs around us. And maybe you're watching this right now. Maybe you're 16 years old and you're thinking about college. Does it make sense? What am I gonna do with my life? And maybe you're saying, you know what? I'm gonna go work for Ryan Serhant one day. That's what I want right now. When you were 20, when you're 22, when you're 23, I wanna meet you. I wanna meet you now. Right? So we can build as long as you have self-discipline and you take initiative and there's the rain. Welcome to Miami. I'm back! Oh god, I'm so tired. Hold on. I need to look. Hello. Oh, the shadows. Ah! Oh, okay. All right. Coffee ready? Hi, Ollie. Hi, everybody. Oh. Ah! Oh, we just got back from Miami. We survived the hurricane. Tropical storm Nicole. Okay, we lived. We did the event, we did the whole thing, we shot the tour, we did the stuff. And now we are back, have had no time to recuperate or rest because we are building an empire. You know what I remember more than anything about self-discipline? When I was 10 years old, I would play outside. And when I would come inside, I'd have my jacket and I'd like throw my jacket on like the doorknob, you know, throw it up because my mom always put it away from me. Okay, so you know she trained me to know that she would do that work, so I just didn't take care of it. One day, I think the jacket fell off of the doorknob and the jacket fell onto the floor. Later that day, my dad gets home and my mom hadn't yet picked up my coat. My dad sees my jacket and it's on the floor. My dad calls me downstairs, he says, Ryan, what's this? And I said, my jacket. He's like, why is it on the floor? And I said, I, I don't know. He said, well, you do know. I said, well, I put it on the doorknob. He's like, because you thought your mother was gonna hang it up for you? Maybe. Is it your mother's job to hang up your coat in the closet? No, it is not. And he got real mad. And he said that if I wanted to eat food again, that I needed to go write a 10-page essay on the importance of not being lazy. And I remember sitting upstairs on like my original, whatever it was, Mac computer, trying to write an essay. It wasn't a great essay. It wasn't even an essay format. I think I was just typing why, 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 why. And I just tried to think of all the other people who, if they were lazy, they would not have done X. 
I think even at that time I was starting to, I was like into Billy Joel. If Billy Joel was lazy, we never would have had Piano Man. If Kurt Cobain was lazy, we never would have had Nirvana. And I know it sounds crazy, but I'll never forget that day because that is the day that I learned about self-discipline. That's the day that I really learned at 10 years old, wow, I am made up of the commitments that I make regardless of how I feel about them. But the greatness that's out there is because those people chose to create the greatness and chose to not be lazy and chose to not take a me day. Now I'm all for me days. I'm all for like, hey, listen, here, you know what? You need to have a Ryan day here and there. You gotta do your thing. I totally, totally get it. But we're in build mode. And that's why you're all watching this. This is more Ryan Serhant because you're watching me build a company day in and day out, week in and week out. So when you go home today, if you're watching this on your phone, you're watching this at school, you're watching this wherever, are you gonna hang your coat on your doorknob? Or are you gonna actually take the extra 1.2 seconds and hang it in the fucking closet? Are you gonna actually do the dishes that are just sitting there right now? Are you gonna actually pick up the shit that's on your floor? Are you actually gonna clean up your desk so that it's actually organized? Because you're only hurting yourself. And right? once that clicks for you, light bulb. It's real. It's real. So what are you going to start doing right now to set off that self-discipline? And you don't have to write a 10 fucking page essay when you're 10 years old. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching this vlog. I got to go sell a lot of real estate um, to keep up with my lifestyle. So I'll see you later.